families and friends of VTA workers uh, gunned down this week still, of course, struggling to comprehend what happened. Hometowns and neighborhoods are also grieving. Among the VTA nine was this young man, Adrian Baeza, only 29 years old. Ron Force Rob Platable has reaction to his death from his hometown of Gilroy. At 29 years of age, Adrian Baeza was the youngest of the nine VTA employees murdered in Wednesday's shooting rampage at the VTA rail yard in San Jose. He lived here in this quiet cul-de-sac in Gilroy, next door neighbors to Chris Burnett and his mother. He was just a great guy. He was always with his kids. He helped my mom out from time to time, helped him move boxes. Baeza was a bus driver. He leaves behind a wife and young son. In a statement, his wife described him as a kind, humble person who could light up a room with his big smile and goofy jokes. His proudest moment was becoming a father. It breaks my heart, she writes, that he won't be able to watch him grow up, take him fishing, or to his first football game. He was loved by so many people, and his passing has clearly touched a nerve here in his neighborhood. Hey. Also hits close to home because I'm a technician. I, I work on, on cars, and, and, and some of the technicians that worked at our shop uh, have actually moved to VTA some time ago. So you know, there's there was a, a temperature in the shop the other day that was you know, it was a you know. Let's let's be nice to each other. In her statement, Baeza's wife said he and two co-workers may have prevented more bloodshed by warning others to take cover before they were gunned down after leaving a break room. Off camera, several other neighbors praised Baeza's everyday heroism as an essential worker, but it was the little things remembered most by Chris Burnett. And he just gave my mom a whole bunch of food because she's really sick right now, and I appreciated that from him. So he was a really compassionate guy. In Gilroy, Rob Flatabo, Cron 4 News.